Our project is basically making a tonsil simulation model inside of a medical dummy or a mannequin. And we modified a 3D printer extrusion system to print tissue scaffolds. We built a robotic arm that goes on the back of a wheelchair for a patient with osteogenesis imperfecta at Shriners. Tonight was the Engineering Design Showcase for 2013, and it's really special because it's an opportunity for our engineering students to showcase all of the work that they've been doing, working on real-world design projects, solving problems uh, within the community, with industry, and really showing their stuff as engineers. I think Rice knows how to do it, right. There's a reason why our engineering department is so well known across the world. My parents, my family's from India, you know, and my whole family knows Rice. They don't know, you know, a lot of other schools. They know Rice for engineering specifically. It's a well-known school and there's a reason for it. This is a quality number one uh, group of students and a quality institution. I mean, come on, Rice is a great institution. How could we uh, not trust them? So we're so happy to be just a collaborator with Rice. You guys did an awesome job. It's a nice exudates. I mean, it really looks like someone has strep with strep throat. Nice job. I've been here 17 years in Houston, and this is really the first um, last year and this year, the first collaborations, and they've been so fabulous. There's no question we would do it again and again. What you've all been waiting for, the grand prize, $5,000, and the winner is excellence in engineering. Riddle Bones. Incredible. We didn't, we didn't see it coming, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely, especially as sophomores, uh, winning this award is, is, is just amazing. We were all shocked when we heard our names. I think what really pushed it along was, was uh, actually being able to see uh, D use the device, and that's what that's makes it all worth it, is seeing him smile when he can pick up the object that he normally couldn't.